Welcome to New Star Readers, powered by Mayak K-12. Sit, listen, and enjoy each new adventure. Here we go. Yummers by James Marshall. Emily Pig was upset. She was gaining weight, and she didn't know why. Maybe I should get more exercise, she said to herself. The next day, Emily jumped rope. I don't really like this, she said, huffing and puffing. I have a better idea, said her best friend Eugene. Why don't you come for a nice long stroll with me? Walking is the best exercise of all. Emily was delighted. Walking is more fun, she said. It doesn't seem like exercise. And there's so many lovely things to see, said Eugene. But walking made Emily hungry. Do you think we have time for a little snack, she asked. Eugene knew where to get the most delicious sandwiches. Oh, yummers, said Emily. All my favorites. But which one should I choose? Have more than one, said Eugene. I don't want to make a pig of myself, said Emily. I'll just have to have tuna fish and a jelly delight. That sounds sensible, said Eugene. The sandwiches only made Emily hungrier. Oh, yummers, she squealed when she saw the corn on the cob stand. And what pig can resist corn on the cob? The corn was especially tasty, but very soon Emily's nose began to twitch. What is that wonderful smell, she asked. It's coming from Granner's tea room, said Eugene. Granner would never forgive us if we didn't pop in to say hello, said Emily. Granner's tea room was cozy indeed. The scones were scrumptious. Another platter of scones, please, Emily said and lots of hot butter and jam. Eugene was still nibbling on his first scone. I'm afraid you didn't get enough to eat, Eugene, said Emily. Yes, I did, answered Eugene. My scone was very good, but Emily was not satisfied. Oh, look, she squealed, Eskimo pies. Eugene didn't particularly like Eskimo pies, but Emily did. She ate three in a row. As a special treat, Eugene purchased a box of Girl Scout cookies. Yummers, said Emily. But everybody knows that Girl Scout cookies are even better with milk. Let's have a glass of milk with our cookies at the drugstore, said Emily. Nice idea, said Eugene. But inside the drugstore, Emily couldn't help ordering a vanilla malt, a banana split, and a small dish of peach ice cream. This is simply yummers, she said. Eugene sipped a glass of skimmed milk. Leaving the drugstore, Eugene snapped his fingers. I almost forgot. This morning I drank the last of my jasmine tea. Do you mind stopping at the supermarket? Certainly not, replied Emily. While Eugene was waiting in line, Emily discovered the free pizza. It's so important to sample new products, she said. In the park, Emily felt awful. I have a tummy ache, she moaned. She could barely finish her cherry popping candied apple. Eugene took Emily home in a taxi. He was very concerned. The next morning, Eugene paid a call on his sick friend. But Emily was feeling better. What do you suppose was the matter, asked Eugene. It must have been all that walking, replied his friend. Eugene smiled. Maybe you should stay in bed and eat plenty of good food. Oh, yummers, said Emily. The end. Thank you for listening and remember to subscribe to New Star Readers.